Hey, what's up guys? In this video, we're going to revisit Comet Atlas. We talked about it two or three weeks ago, and some new information has surfaced, and this thing looks like it's going to be an overachiever. Stick around, this gets interesting. Right now, we're over here at the JPL. This is Comet Atlas's current position, just on the edge of Mars's orbit, right out in here. The Earth is right here, and you can see this thing diving in towards the Sun. It has a perihelion date of May the 30th, so just over two months. But in the meantime, this thing's going to get bigger and brighter, more visible in the nighttime sky, and quite possibly visible in the daytime sky. We watched Comet Panstars back in 2013 from the Stereo B spacecraft, right here it is, and we thought this thing was huge. Never really seen anything quite like Panstars. Well, the comet that's coming in now has the chance to outdo this many times over. Unbelievable. Panstars wasn't visible in the daytime sky. This comet could definitely be an overachiever. Here's the new information from spaceweather.com, dated March 16th of 2020. Comet Atlas is brightening. Three weeks ago, amateur astronomer Roman Calusa of Ontario, Canada, tried to find Comet Atlas. It wasn't easy. But last night, wow, exclamation point. The comet has really brightened. He took this picture of the emerald green comet with a five inch refracting telescope. Right there it is. And here's his picture, Roman Calusa. There's the very large comet. And you gotta keep in mind, that's on the outer edge of Mars's orbit just incredible. The comet is about as bright as an eighth or ninth magnitude star. That's too dim to see with the naked eye, but consider this. The comet is hundreds of times brighter than astronomers thought it would be when they discovered it four months ago at this position. They didn't think it would be this bright, not by a long shot, at the Asteroid Terrestrial Impact Last Alert System, Atlas. Hence its name, Comet Atlas. That's where it was discovered. And it's still beyond the orbit of Mars. This thing's got a long ways to go. May 30th, it's a ways out. By the time Comet Atlas approaches the sun in May, it could become quite bright. Indeed, it could become a daytime star easily. Estimates range from magnitude plus one to minus 10. In other words, somewhere between a first magnitude star and the waxing crescent moon. Here's what a first magnitude star looks like. Sirius is a first magnitude star right there. And that's just below Orion in the night sky. But if that were in the daytime sky, more than likely it would be easily visible. Kaluza's image of the green comet is one degree wide. Right there. That's one degree. That's a long ways. That plus the comet's distance of 1.1 AU allows us to estimate the physical size of the comet's green atmosphere. That would be the, the coma, the corona. It's already starting to outgas. 300,000 kilometers or more than twice as wide as Jupiter already. And it's just on the outer edge of Mars's orbit. It's a big target and it's getting bigger as the comet approaches. And it's got a perihelion date of May the 30th. We don't really know for sure what this thing's going to do when it gets inside the inner solar system here close to the sun. Back in 1744, there was a comet, a big comet that came in, had six tails after its perihelion, or right at its perihelion, six tails. That's what it looked like back in 1744. And civilizations, if you look back through history, none of them have anything nice to say about these big comets. This is going to be an overachiever, a potential daytime star the last couple of weeks of May. And who knows how bright this thing could get. They're estimating plus one to minus 10, and it could be brighter because they didn't expect it to be this bright at this position right now. So pretty incredible times we're living in, guys, and we have to keep this in perspective. And if we put it fast forward and go up to right near May 30th, there's May 15th. In that position, it could potentially be visible in the daytime sky with a very long tail. Unbelievable. So as we get closer and closer to May 30th, I want you to pay attention to Earth's position. We're going to be over here on the outgassing side of this thing. If we were over here, it would be a little different scenario. We're going to be over here where the solar wind is blowing the tail right towards the Earth, towards Venus. I'm not saying it's going to extend completely that far. And then again, who knows? We don't know what this thing's capable of doing. But you can see where we're going to be at. There's the comet. As it gets closer and closer to the sun, it's only going to get bigger and brighter. There's May 28th. There's May 29th, May 30th. See the Earth's position? See our position with regard to the comet? I mean, we're directly in line over here. 
So that's on May 29th. Then May 30th is its perihelion. Then it goes below the ecliptic, and that's what that comet looked like back in 1744. Over 270 years ago, comet went through here that ended up having six tails. I'm not saying this one's going to. I'm just saying it definitely has a chance, according to this new information, of becoming an overachiever. And we could be seeing something historic here very soon. All things considered, that's what we've got coming. A very large comet that does look like, indeed, it's going to be an overachiever and definitely has a chance of becoming a daytime star the last couple of weeks of May. Who knows? Maybe sooner. We'll have to wait and see. Got a new Sky Phenomena picture slideshow I put together, and I'm working on many, many more. I've got a lot of emails to get through. Wendy's One Heart World down in Cancun took this video today. Not exactly sure what we're looking at here, but looks good. Looks like some sort of a structure up in the sky. Iowa City, Iowa, Luke S. Big beam in the night sky coming up from the ground. Natalie K. from Germany. A couple of incredible photos of some ominous looking storm clouds over Germany. These were taken about a week ago, I think. Holdenville, Oklahoma. Mac B. of a big jumbo halo over the state of Oklahoma. Here we're looking at what looks like a, a jumbo storm from the ISS, but it's not a storm. It just has the shape of one. It's got like a, a big eye wall, a center of rotation, if you will, and you can see a big cloud structure extending out from the what looks like an eye wall. But I don't think it's a storm, even though it definitely looks like one. Boise, Idaho, GG found a very intriguing sky up over Boise. Same one here over western Michigan by Vern. Looks like a comet went right through the clouds. Jarvis M. out of Las Lunas, New Mexico. Fiery orange sky. Then it went to white with a rainbow a day or two later. And then above the clouds, he noticed what looked like some sort of a triangle craft. It showed up in the photo. Here's a zoomed in closer look at what appears to be some sort of a dark, almost black or dark gray triangle craft at the top of the clouds. Incredible photograph out of New Mexico. Lena M. from the Irish Sea. More storm clouds out over the ocean. And I think this is a look at Venus, a bright light out over the ocean after dark. Fort Lauderdale Beach, Florida. Sarah A. of a spectacular double-decker rainbow. Almost looks like it's touching the beach. Tom from Bristol, United Kingdom. Angel wings going way up into the sky. Oxnard, California. Verna of yet another fiery orange sky at sunset. And this one I took, a big halo right out here in Arizona. Another big jumbo halo, just like we saw up in Oklahoma. So once again, we've got an inbound comet, Comet Atlas, getting closer and closer as I do this video, and it's getting larger and larger. I'm going to get my scope out tonight, early in the morning, sky permitting. I'm going to try to get a video of this comet, and we're going to try to follow it in. It's going to be inbound for the next two and a half months and this thing's going to start getting bigger and brighter and once again it does have a chance to become a daytime star will it have six tails we'll have to wait and see and if you're a new viewer don't forget to go over and subscribe to the youtube channel click on the red subscribe button you see right there and also touch the notifications bell that way you'll be notified every time we upload a new video and if you're a current subscriber go over and double check and make sure you're still subscribed and make sure the bell is still turned on so you'll receive the notifications and if you guys have any photos you'd like to share you can send those to reports at mrmbb333.com all of the photos end up here at the sky phenomena photo gallery and sometimes i use the photos in a picture slideshow just like you saw right here thanks for watching have a super day and be safe out there